Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with the General Surgery course. Today we'll be talking about the hyperspinism. In the past couple of lectures, we'll be talking about uh, spinach infarctions and the splenic aneurysms, and today we'll be talking about the spinomegaly and hyperspinism. We'll be talking about the difference between the hyperspinism and spinomegaly. So let's just have the outline of today's lecture, and most precisely, we'll be talking about the surface anatomy and surface landmarks of the spleen. And then we'll be talking about the causes for the hyperspinism, especially the category of the infective causes, the metabolic causes, and uh, the neoplastic conditions. And uh, in case of the infective causes, the bacterial, the spiroketal, the viral, and the parasitic and the protozoal infections. We'll be talking about uh, the uh, another important uh, condition, which is the splenic tuberculosis. We'll be talking about the different causes for the splenic abscess and how actually the splenic abscess is going to cause the spinomegaly. Then we'll be talking about the most common conditions in, you know, the causes other than the infective processes, the blood bone conditions like the acute leukemias, the chronic leukemia, the aplastic anemias, then idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, hereditary versatilis, thalassemia, sickle cell disease. We'll be talking in detail about this. Then we'll be talking about the signs and symptoms for the ITP, the acute and the chronic case, and their presentation in the children and their presentation presentation in the adults, especially the females, and then obviously the definitive management. Then we'll be talking about metabolic circulatory collagen diseases, which are actually going to cause the hyperspinism. Then we'll be talking about the neoplastic conditions. We'll be talking about some kind of storage disease like the Gorsha disease, uh, and we'll be talking about the features and the presentation and how it's actually going to produce the hyperspinism. Then we'll be talking about the common condition, which is uh, the hyperspinism due to portal hypertension. And then we'll be talking about the Felter syndrome, which is a kind of a serious rheumatoid arthritis involving the uh, splenomegaly, rheumatoid arthritis, and the neutropenias. And then we'll be talking about the splenectomy. We'll be talking in detail about the elective splenectomies, and we'll be talking about the emergency conditions in which uh, splenectomy is compulsory to do to for, for the survival and to save the life of the patient. Then we'll be talking about some pre-operative um, management and we need to some pre-operative essential steps we need to do it and then we'll be talking about a little bit about the operative surgery i uh, will be talking about the incision and the mobilization and then we'll be talking about uh, the ligation of the different vessels in detail and then we'll be talking about the post-operative management and the complications. And then uh, the important vaccinations and the other protocol, uh, you have a special care you have to give to this patient. We'll be talking in detail about that. We have got um, uh, other, other important uh, operative surgical steps to be discussed in today's lecture and then most important, most precisely, the post-operative complications as well. We have got other lectures on our site, which is cardia.com. You can go there, get access, and enjoy enjoy our lectures. Uh, for the detailed lecture, keep watching scadia.com with Dr. Sanakan.